Decades after 22-year-old Auburn University student Kyle Quinn scales went missing in 1976, authorities pulled his car from an Alabama Creek authority say they found the car of a missing Alabama college student, who disappeared in 1976. A vehicle belonging to Kyle Quinks Chaos, a 22-year-old Auburn University student, who was last seen in January 1976, was pulled from a creek in Chambers County, Alabama, the Troop County Sheriff's Office shared in the Wednesday news release. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Plus follow following you will get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. Clink scales had been traveling from La Grange, Georgia, back to Auburn University the night of January 27, 1976, but never made it back to school, the sheriff's office stated. For 45 years, neither he nor his vehicle, a white 1974 pinned runabout, could be found. Investigators finally found a lead in the cold case on Tuesday. Troop County Sheriff James Woodruff said during the Wednesday news conference that a man called 911 after spotting a car in a Chambers County Creek, for ABC News. After deputies from the Chambers County Sheriff's Office arrived at the creek, they pulled the vehicle from the water and determined it was an older model Ford passenger car with a 1976 Georgia tag with a Troop County decal, for the Wednesday release. Skeletal remains were also found in the vehicle. Plus an ID and credit cards belonging to Clink's chaos, Woodruff said during the news conference, for ABC. The sheriff explained that the skeletal remains have not been identified and are under examination by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, GBI. Call Clink's chaos missing person case credit, Troop County Sheriff's Office Facebook investigators matched the car to the vehicle Clink's chaos had been driving that night in 1976 by sending the tag to the Troop County Sheriff's Office who found that both the Georgia tag and the vehicle identification oom. Clink Scales car is being processed by GBI special agents after being brought from the creek into the Troop County Sheriff's Office, according to the news release. During Wednesday's conference, Woodruff shared that Clink Scales' parents are no longer alive, and that he wished Clink Scales' mom, who died in January, had been able to witness the latest break in the case. Just the fact that we have hopefully found him in the car brings me a big sigh of relief. 